Hello everyone, Vintage Farlong Guy, happy Farlong Friday, and welcome to System Test number 36 with the Simplex 4004 Farlong Control Panel. So, let's get started with devices. Over here, I have my Pyrotronics MS-51 Pulse Station for the first initiating device in the system. Up here, I have an ESL rebranded Faraday 6120 electromechanical horn stroke for the first notification appliance on the system. For the smoke detector, I still have the system sensor 2400 smoke from last test. Over here, I still have the AIP um, Edwards to some of the SPO from last system test. And up here, I have my FCI SL remote strobe. All right, so that was pretty much an overview of the devices. So as you can see, we have a old, like, I don't know, like an old system sensor, Farley Honeywell, um, you know, Edwards, Siemens Faraday kind of setup. So, yep. So nothing too special. This has to be like a system, kind of like something you would see from like the late eight, 80s and the early 90s. So. But, yeah, so that is pretty much an overview of the devices, and now we can go on to the fun part, the activation of the system. Start off with the Powertronics MS-51, and the system will be on code 3. So, if you have epilepsy, do not watch this. So as you see, we have audible silence. Yep, so still flashing. So now we can go ahead, we can reset the Pyrotronics pulse station. <sighs> Hold on, I might have to reset this off camera, so I'll be right back. All right, pulse station has been reset. Sorry to not get to see that on camera, but I have reset the pulse station. So now we can go ahead and do a system reset. So, all right. So, so going. All right. System has been has been reset. So now what we can do is we can go on. We will go ahead and activate the smoke detector on the system, and the system will be set to March time. So, be right back. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and activate the system sensor 2400, and the system is now on March time. So, now for ado, here we go, activating the 2400.
be honest, every time I hear these electromechanical horns on March time, you know, I'll tell you what, having these on March time it has like a good beat to it, so, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they sound pretty good on March time, to be honest. And I'll tell you what, it's one of my favorite cone options too, but, alright. But anyway, yep, as you can see, this smoke detector has been activated, so, since it's not really a pull station, since it was a smoke detector, we can just go ahead and do a system reset. So, alright. Like I said, you know, give it a few seconds because, you know, it's got to go through all the zones, make sure nothing's activated, so. Alright, system has been reset, and now we can go ahead and head to the last initiating device, which is the AIP 270 SPO, and the system will be on continuous. So, I'll be right back. Alright. System has been set to continuous. Sorry for the flashlight, but it's like kind of dark over here, but yeah. So, but enough shit chatter. Let's go ahead and we'll activate the last device in the system and the system's on continuous. So, here it goes. Very noisy to be honest. <laughs> All right, so now let's go ahead and set the last pull station over here. So, yeah, yep. All right, pull station has been reset. Now we can do a final system reset. All right, give us a few seconds here to reset. All right, system has been reset. All right, so that pretty much wraps up for system test 36. So yeah, 90s Faraday devices. Yeah, I know, this stuff's really boring, isn't it? Yeah, who needs them, but. But next test, I will be swapping out this device. I'll be swapping out this device. I might swap out the detector. I might still keep the same pull station, but I think I'm gonna move it over by the panel, but I'm also going to swap out the remote stroke for next test. So, well, what's going to be next test? Well, next test, there's probably not going to be any horns next test. There might be one strobe, which is going to be the remote strobe, but next test, we're going to have bells in the system. Yep. And what bell is it? Well, I haven't really used this bell yet. I have a, as you can probably see, I have a AIP fire bell. Pretty cool. I think it's pretty rare. So, yeah, but I think next test, I will be doing bells next test. So, like that being said, that pretty much wraps up for this final on Friday. If you all enjoyed this video, don't forget to like this video, drop a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next week for the next final on Friday. So, have a great day, everyone.